This is an updated version of the parametric grapher for the Inspire. So here I have this, uh, oh, what is this thing called? I forgot what it's called, but um, you can't, you, from this graph you can't tell how this thing was drawn or what direction anything is going, so this helps you see directions and, and uh, uh, how this thing is drawn as T increases, so let's build it. So I'll open up a new document, and the first thing I'll do is I'll graph. I'll graph this this thing, um, and I'm going to use the same examples before, which is this. And I have this these equations. You can enter these equations with these uh, parameters here, and that'll give you this. I'll zoom in on it. Okay, and um, so the next thing we'll do is. Uh, add another graph, and this time we're going to go to graph entry edit, and we're going to make a scatter plot. Okay, then go to actions, insert slider, and interval will be the name of this value, and interval will uh, define how far along t you want to graph your parametric equation. Then we'll insert another slider called step, and this will be the resolution of the graph. Okay, so I'm going to adjust these, the value, the settings for these sliders. Uh, value of one, minimum of one, maximum of 100. Um, step size will be 0 0.01. Okay, and then this one will make 0.3 value, and then have minimum of 0 0.001, maximum of pi over eight. Uh, the step size should be 0 0.0001. Okay. And then now to actually build the part that makes it work. So we'll name this column tval, and it will be equal to sequence nn0 to interval with step size of step. And then this next one we'll call para x, so parametric x values. And it'll be x1 of t value. And this one will be para y. And we'll call this x1 of t value. And then we'll go back here to this graph, show the entry line, and then the x values will be will be para x, and the y values will be para y. And then it'll give us some points here. And we will right click on the points, mm -hmm. click on attributes, and we'll change their attributes. And we'll go all the way over until we get to uh, thin points and then connect these. And press enter. And then now we have this thing that doesn't work. Oh, this is supposed to be Y1. No, wait, is it? Yeah, okay, Y1 TVAL. There you go, and that works. Okay. Excellent, and then you can adjust the resolution as well. If you can figure out, automate this, auto, figure out a way to automate this, let me know.